Hello, welcome back to another breaking news update. My name is Jimmy Boyd, and you were watching Boyd News. I want to thank you so much for tuning in today. We've got some breaking news coming out from France to share with you. We've got reports that France has been hit with a massive sabotage attack on their high-speed railway network. This is all in the opening day of the Paris Olympics, which just started today. There's reports of arson attacks against critical infrastructure in several places, and a major hacking attack also apparently took place. So this was definitely some sort of coordinated strike on France's high-speed railway network. Uh, about 800,000 people, if not more, have been stranded at train stations across France. So this was obviously a very massive attack. I've got some information I want to go over here with you today. We've also got video footage showing tons of people stuck at the train stations. So this went on for a number of hours. I think they're still investigating right now to find out what happened here. Uh, but this is very interesting because... We were hearing lots of reports of terrorist attacks across Europe. I did a whole report on this not even a month ago of U.S. bases potentially coming under attack across Europe as well. And then uh, France was also warning that there was going to be some sort of event happening around the Paris Olympics. They were really boosting up their, uh, their forces and trying to protect people to make sure that nobody is harmed if there is any, any kind of attack that breaks out. And now we've got reports of this massive sabotage attack on the high-speed railway network. So apparently what happened here was there was fires being set uh, on the railways. And also the cables that control these, these uh, railways as well were damaged. Many of them were cut, severed, or, or damaged, destroyed in some sort of way. So this is a picture of some of the railway workers trying to repair the damaged cables that they found. So France is still trying to investigate to find out who did this. But there's lots of talk going around that could this potentially have been Iran? Could this have been Russia? Who could this have been? Could this have been another nation that did this? Was it not necessarily something that happened inside their country? Maybe it was coordinated from outside the country. Um, who knows? I, we, don't, we don't know what this could be, but I'm going to wait for more information to come out before we decide on who this could have been that did this. Or was this just some, a random act of vandalism of just maybe some people that just wanted to cause terror within the country, whatever. So let me show you this information here on CNN. French rail lines disrupted by coordinated sabotage ahead of Paris Olympics opening ceremony. So this came out today. And it says here, France's high-speed uh, train lines excuse me, were targeted by multiple malicious acts, including arson on Friday, and what has been described as an attack on France and a coordinated sabotage to disrupt travel ahead of the opening ceremony of the Paris Olympics. This is another reason why I mention is is uh, is the blame going to get put on Russia? Is the blame going to get put on Iran? Who knows what's going to happen here because this is being described as an attack on France. Okay, this is obviously a major disruption. 800,000 people being stuck at train stations because they can't travel because multiple rail lines have been damaged. I'll show you a map here in just a minute here on CNN. So it says the French state railway company SNCF said in a post on X that a large number of trains were diverted or canceled and asked all travelers who could postpone their trip and not go to the station. By Friday afternoon, its services had partially resumed, though widespread disruption continued. No one's claimed responsibility for the attacks, but given their scale and precision, it is clear they are more than just random acts of vandalism. An intelligence source told CNN that French intelligence services are fully mobilized to find those responsible. The source added that these methods have been used by the far left in the past, but there is no evidence to tie today's actions to them. The operator said the Atlantic, Northern, and Eastern high-speed lines were impacted with damage caused to several of its facilities, adding that one of the acts was foiled in the East after SNCF agents scared off uh, several individuals. The Atlantic's line services the West and Southwest of France from Paris. The Northern line takes travelers from the French capital, to uh, I don't know if it's Lille and to the Eastern Line and the Eastern Line journeys from Paris to Strasbourg. SNCF CEO uh, Jean Pierre Farando told journalists on Friday that cables, which are there to ensure the security of train drivers, were set on fire and taken apart, but that authorities don't know who's behind it. So they have no idea who it is. Uh, they're still investigating to figure out who caused this damage. But again, cables were cut and damaged and also set on fire. Okay, so obviously a, a massive attack designed to completely collapse the railway system. And obviously many people are going to be traveling to go to the Paris Olympics and now they can't. Uh, or it's going to make it very difficult for them to get to it. So it says, uh, but it was likely someone who had 
very precise information that was behind the attack, according to Axel Person, a leader of the CGT Rail Union. He told CNN that a railway worker or industrial espionage might be to blame, but also underlined that it was thanks to railway workers that one of the attacks was foiled. So yes, one of them apparently was foiled. It'll show here on this map. Here's a map that they put here. It says, coordinated attack on high-speed rail paralyzes Olympic travel. Overnight attacks along France's high-speed rail network have caused widespread cancellations and delays hours before the Olympic opening ceremony. Authorities describe the acts as coordinated and say one attack was foiled. So these are the different attacks that we know of. For sure, three took place on these the Eastern, Northern, and Atlantic uh, railways. And then uh, this one, the Southeastern Railway, this one was foiled right here. But we know three for sure were confirmed attacks, okay? So that's that map there. And then finally, some more information. It says the Paris Prosecutor's Office has opened an investigation into the attack and detailed four separate charges relating to the damage of state property and taking part in organized crime. Some of the crimes listed are punishable by up to 20 years imprisonment and a fine of 300,000 euros. Outgoing French Prime Minister Gabriel Attal said on Friday afternoon he was not aware of any arrests so far. Following emergency repairs, most trains on the Eastern Network were running with delays of about an hour by Friday afternoon, but only a third of trains were running on the Atlantic side. Regional SNCF Director Frank uh, Duborodale, I don't know if I'm saying that right, told reporters in a news conference. So obviously a very massive attack here inside of France. And uh, I'm very curious to see who they will say is behind this in the very end because obviously there's there's definitely a push to blame some sort of country here, whether it be France, uh, not France, excuse me, whether it be uh, Iran or whether it be uh, Russia. One of these two countries, obviously it seems like the West is ready to to uh, put some sort of blame on one of these countries. Um, I, I would think especially Iran right now because I think that's who the West is definitely most focused on considering that they're very close to nuclear weapons. But obviously Russia is a major threat to uh, Europe as well. But let me show you this also here on X. This is from Kamal Korkiz. A large sabotage operation was conducted by unknown, by unknown assailants against France's railway system, effectively bringing the system to a halt and causing 800,000 people to be stuck at train stations all across the country. French and non-French citizens were trying to reach Paris for the uh, Olympics opening ceremony, but reporters are coming out saying that they are stuck. The Israeli foreign minister, Israel Katz, look at this, has claimed that Israel provided intelligence to the French authorities earlier this week that suggests that Iran might conduct or be behind an incident targeting French infrastructure. The current popular opinion with European analysts is that Russia was behind the attack, though no official confirmed it. Okay, so... Nobody knows who exactly did this, but look at where the fingers are being pointed already, okay? They're being pointed at Iran and being pointed at, at Russia. So let's see what the investigation brings, what the evidence brings, and if they are able to tie any of these attacks to potentially Iran or Russia. Who knows? This could just be a coordinated attack within France. This may not have any affiliation to any other countries. I'm not stating that, but uh, it definitely looks like there may be a push to, uh, to show that this was some sort of attack from another nation like Russia or, or Iran. So this is just an, another map here as well. Looks like this map shows there could have been a second attack along this, uh, this eastern railway as well, because the other map that we saw on CNN only had one attack here. So it looks like there could have been a second one here. And also, uh, this is the one that was foiled, this uh, little yellow dot here. But uh, let's take a look at this uh, video next, eight seconds long, and it's going to show people stuck at the train stations. So take a look. So clearly just people stuck around here waiting in the train stations for these trains to get back up and operational again. And to be honest, if this was me, I would be worried to even get on these trains after knowing this is, this is happening. And uh, if it was me personally, if I lived in France, I probably wouldn't even go to the Olympics be just because there are lots of threats going on right now and have been for a very long time. But especially right now, um, I personally would not trust going to any major events with lots of people where it's crowded with, you know, tens of thousands of people there, because these are where the events are going to be targeted if there is some sort of attack like this. And then this is exactly what we saw, but we just saw a sabotage attack on the French railway system. So absolutely crazy news what's going on over here. I'm going to follow this very closely because there's a uh, definitely a big potential that this could come back 
uh, red-handed on maybe uh, Iran or maybe Russia. We'll have to see. Most likely, I don't think that will be the case, but who knows? It's very possible. So that's why I wanted to share this information with you. So once again, just to recap, massive sabotage attack on France's high-speed railway network, targeting multiple of their railways while people were trying to head to the Paris Olympics. So I will follow this closely. If any other developments come out, I will definitely do another update video for you guys. But that's going to be it for this update today. If you got something out of this, please smash that like button. Also, if you enjoy my content, please consider subscribing down below. Hit the notification bell. That way YouTube can notify you. And with that, I hope you all have a great day. Everybody take care and God bless. And we'll see you in the next one.